Hi everyone, this is Sunrise May, and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on one of my favorite products by a company called Dashing Diva, and it is their Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Palette Nail Stickers. So these are stickers that are made out of gel polish, and they go on your nail. They last up to 14 days. I've had them on for about 10 to 12 days. I don't think I've ever made it quite to the 14 days. I am a little bit rough with my nails and that could be a factor, but this is my absolutely favorite gel palette to use. I have used them for all different types of holidays, for Christmas, Valentine's. They have different features and different patterns for all the different holidays. Check out my blog in the article for all the different types that I've used in the past. So in order to start, you're going to start with fresh clean nails. I've already filed them and I've buffed them a little bit with a nail buffer, nothing too harsh, but just to kind of take off the, um, any bumps or anything else that could prevent the nail from the nail sticker from sticking. I'm going to have a small pair of scissors on hand, which I'll explain in a couple of seconds. And these are two nail files. Um, this one comes with some of the packs for Dashing Diva. I actually got this one, I believe, with one of the Valentine packs. And um, these packs, they all come with their own inside. This is a fresh pack that I'm gonna open up. Um, this one's called Rosie Outlook. And I actually picked this one up in uh, Ulta. They have it also online at ulta.com. They have it locally, Sally Beauty Supply, and in sallybeauty.com. And they, uh, Dashing Diva, the website itself, has by far the largest selection. And you can find most of them there. They have free shipping most of the time. If you spend $15 and the packs are anywhere between $7 to $10. So just by buying a couple of packs, you can already secure yourself free shipping. It does take about a week or so if you get the free shipping to arrive. So if you're in a little bit of a, a crunch for time, I recommend maybe visiting your local store. So each pack comes with 34 strips. There are usually four different kinds. This one is the main color, and these are usually the ones that you will put on your pinky, index, and thumb finger, and they recommend that you use these three colors somewhere with your ring and middle finger. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can um, mix and match them. If you lift up this little plastic, you're going to see, this one kind of jumped out, that there is a whole other layer of this color underneath here. So of these, you only have these four that come on top, but of this main color, you do have two whole strips of them. So the other thing you're gonna need is some alcohol prep pads, kind of what you would use if you're going to um, inject or do some sort of um, treatment on it. I just get a cotton ball and I just wet it with some alcohol and you pass it over your nails. And this is to remove any sort of oil um, or any other product that you might have in your nails. You do want it to be as dry and as free of any products as possible so it can stick as best as possible. So I like to do just one hand at a time, but if you know that you're going to be working through this quickly, you can definitely do it both hands at the same time as well. I've done this in the car on my way to Disney um, and then I've also had another color on my nails and I just kind of peel them off. I file them, I buff them a little bit, and then I just pack one of these uh, alcohol prep pads and I can actually just do it in the car. There's no drying time. And once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy. I will say it did take me a few tries to get this right. So if you are doing this for the first time, be patient. It will come a little easier. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the nail strip and I'm gonna kind of lay it on top of my nail to see if that's a good fit. If it's a little bit wide, if you're in between two, go with the smaller one. Because if it's a little bit wide, it's going to stick to the side of your skin that's going to cause it to lift up and that's going to cause a problem. It won't let it stick that much. So what you wanna do is try to place this as close to your the bottom of your nail bed as possible, as close to your cuticle. I like to put it kind of sort in the middle. And then once it's on like that, I press on the one side. Then I go, kind of flip my nail over, press it on the other side as possible, go forward. 
And this one for my pinky in particular, is usually very long, it's almost double the size. So what I like to do is I like to cut it and then it, I am actually able to use the other side for my other pinky. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of like a clear section to the opposite end of it. So it doesn't quite look exactly the same, but for my pinky, there's only a couple of fingers I can actually do this for. And your nails cannot be very long, but for my pinky, it is usually the one that it will allow it for. So as you can see, that was kind of like a close fit there. It doesn't um, apply if my nails are a little bit longer, but sometimes I am able to kind of save an extra strip. And then once you have it on, usually if you only do one nail at a time, you grab the nail board that, that comes with it and you are going to use the white side. And then what you're going to do is you're going to file it down, almost like if you're filing your nails. And as you file it, you're going to notice that it's kind of like, it's kind of cutting it. So. And it's going to peel off almost like rub off. So you can kind of see it coming off there already. You can kind of peel it off with your nail a little bit. And then anything over that kind of sticks out. And that's it. I'm gonna do my other nail. This one's not gonna have much to come off. I kind of do sometimes, not just up and down, like they recommend sometimes I do kind, I do it a little bit more horizontal. And that's because I've already kind of learned the tricks of it. Um, as you can see, sometimes when it's a little bit too short, it becomes, it becomes a little trickier. Especially when I'm trying to get these little corners, I kind of, almost like if I'm filing my nails. And then I do kind of one more seal just to make sure that it's down. Then I move on to my next nail. So in this case, um, this one is a little bit more um, festive. This is more of a spring type of color. So I'm just going to stick, these, these kind of look nice when they're paired up together. So I'm gonna leave these for like a separate manicure another day. I'm gonna use this kind of shimmery one. And again, I'm going to look at what fits my nail. And since I've been doing this already for quite some time, I can already almost look at the sticker and I know which one is the one that's going to fit that finger. So I'm going to go down as much as I can, as much towards the middle, rub both sides. Going to cut it. This one, as you can see, it's a little bit different, so it's not going to quite look exactly the same on both of my nails, but um, I'm only doing it for this nail as well because I know that the other size is actually a little bit too wide. So if I wouldn't have done this, I wouldn't have been able to have kind of like the matching. So I'm gonna get my white side of my nail file, do the same. Anytime it has uh, any sort of glitter, the filing off of the excess can be a little bit more um, time consuming. It is a thicker, so I almost feels like if it's thicker when it has the glitter on it. Go over to the other side. Once again, when I did this the first time, it did take me a little bit longer to do, but I figured, hey, it's, 
a manicure for less than $10. You can't go wrong. Okay, so then now I'm gonna move on back to my regular palette. And this one seems about right. Sometimes I recommend if you've been filing a little bit, just go back and put a little bit of uh, the alcohol pad over your nails because sometimes when you're filing it, it can have a little bit of uh, dust on it just because the, just, the, the dust kind of generates from when you're filing the other nails. And sometimes I have found that if I don't kind of clean it off, it can prevent it from sticking. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna put it here right in the middle. The first time I did it, I think I kind of put it more to one side than the other. That's fine, that's normal. So this one I know is not going to be enough for my second, for another nail. And since I have plenty of these sizes, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna show you now how when it's long, same process. It's a little bit more obvious once it starts to cut because it is a longer piece that you are cutting off. You can already see how it's starting to come off there. The corners I do like to do side to side instead of up and down. You can kind of help it along a little bit, pull it off a little bit. And then the opposite side of this board is, is to smooth any, any excess that's off. So this kind of gray part, you can always go back at the end, kind of make sure that it's smooth, that there isn't any parts. It's not as rough as the white part. It's not meant really to cut through the thick gel. So as you can see that. This is almost a little bit of a sheer color. You can kind of see my nail underneath it. Most of them, um, some of them can tend to be sheer. Others are a little bit um, darker and a little bit more of a solid color. You can't really see through it. And I also recommend um, always starting off with the pinky and working your way forward. If you notice, I do use my thumb a lot. So I like to make that one the last one of my fingers to put the nail strips on. Just in case I have to kind of pick at anything on the side. So I use these through vacations. I use them daily at home and I do dishes. I wash my hair every other day and I have long thick hair. Um, any time, and I, I don't really limit myself to anything I do. The only time maybe you might see a little bit of a lift is if you try to kind of peel a sticker off with your finger. Same thing would happen if you, if you have regular nail polish, but even then it doesn't really come off. Um, it will not chip. It will not come off if you put it correctly. And um, one, thing I, one thing I do like to do is I like to kind of check over and if I see any little piece of sticker sticking out, I kind of go over it again with the nail file because if you do have any little piece of a nail sticker kind of sticking out, it will catch on your clothes and it kind of gets like the lint underneath it. And then that can cause it to kind of start to fall apart a little bit earlier than it should. Then I'll go now to my index finger. And once again, make sure that there's no excess dust on it because that will affect it. Put it towards the center. My index finger is always the one that I have the most trouble with. And especially my right index finger because I am right-handed. So this is usually the one, this is my left hand, but the right index finger is usually the one that gets the most amount of use. So I try to make that one the best as possible. It 
It does file your nail down just slightly. I have noticed that it can almost make it a little bit If you have happened to have made it a little bit wider, if you happen to have put the wrong one, or if let's say you have a pack left over and you have some left um, and you kind of want to make a manicure out of it and you are trying to use what you have and it's a little bit wider than you would like for it to be, you can always um, get the scissors and kind of cut along the edge and you should be able to modify it. So when you do this, I find that it does kind of file your nail down just a little bit. So it's been about 15 minutes or so. I only have three fingers left. And I'm almost done with the manicure. And it, like I said, it does last. Um, I've used it up to 10 days and it's still good. Sometimes I just take them off just because it's a, I'm tired of looking at the color. So kind of do it here, make sure you don't have any bumps on it. Get your nail file, fold it down carefully, and just repeat. You don't, uh, they do sell a base gloss that you can use. I've never used it before, but um, I'm sure it's very beneficial. And I have put gloss on on top and it really doesn't make a difference. Um, it does stay glossy for much longer than you would think so. So it's not really one of those necessary add-ons. Take off the little corners and we're almost done with our manicure. There we go. All right, thank you for watching. Please check back on my blog. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I will be showing you more videos and um, any more new features from Dashing Diva and any other beauty products. Thank you for watching.